Hello guys, how's it going out there? Just quickly, I want to show you a really neat trick you can do with dry ice. And this is actually a science experiment because the way that dry ice works is that, of course, it's compressed carbon dioxide. Now, you know helium, you know the reason why helium balloon rises is because helium is lighter than air. Well, carbon dioxide is the opposite. Now, it's not as heavy as other gases, but it's heavier generally than the air around it. What does this mean? This means that basically you can take a bubble that is of your typical atmosphere where you are and blow it into carbon dioxide and the bubble will float. You don't believe me? Let me show you. This is a cooler that I'm showing you right now. At the bottom of the cooler is just some dry ice. And so dry ice pretty much, like I said, it, it slowly melts, but of course we never see it melt because it's carbon dioxide. So it goes directly from a, from a solid to a gas. And what happens is that we end up getting carbon dioxide, which is invisible. But let me show you what it actually does. If you look at these bubbles, you'll see that they float. Let me give you a few more. And of course, if the bubbles hit the side of this cooler, then they end up actually um, popping. But it's just something pretty cool. Another thing you'll notice is that the bubbles will slowly go down, and that's as the air gets cooler. Once again, just the physics effect, hotter air is more buoyant than cooler air. So as the air cools off, then they'll slowly sink down. But like I said, as you see, we have a pretty cool thing here because what was actually going on is that <clears throat> we have an invisible layer of carbon dioxide. You saw those bubbles join in the background, so pretty cool things can happen. But like I said, we have an invisible pool of carbon dioxide in here and that carbon dioxide is made visible by the number of bubbles that we have. So, something cool to try out. Have fun. You just have to find some dry ice around in your area. So, yippee.